Hey guys, I'm back, and in this video, I want to answer the question, is it okay to take the trace mineral strontium for osteoporosis? So let's just talk about that. Uh, this trace mineral is the most abundant trace mineral on planet Earth, and its main function is to help increase bone density. So its chemistry is very similar to calcium, uh, but this trace mineral is really good to make the outer shell of the bone very, very rigid and hard, and also to help prevent hip fractures. So here's the big issue with this trace mineral. Uh, minerals come in two forms, uh, inorganic and organic. Inorganic would be similar to like rocks in the soil. Okay, they're elements. And what happens is a plant is supposed to help absorb these elemental inorganic minerals and turn them into different bonds which are weaker. We call those organic minerals, okay? Different definition. So organic minerals have weaker bonds that are much easier to absorb in our body and process. So when you're dealing with trace minerals, it's important not to take the elemental ones because your body can't really absorb them too well. You want a plant-based trace mineral like this one, okay? This is all plant-based, prehistoric vegetation, like 70 million years old. And so this is in the form that the body can absorb. So when you're trying to build bone, in addition to taking this, you want to take calcium and vitamin D. The type of calcium I'm going to recommend is something called calcium aspartate anhydrous. Okay, this is a really good type of calcium that absorbs like 98%. And then vitamin D3. Make sure you get the D3, not the D2. And I would recommend taking at least 10,000 IUs, unless you're getting regular sun through the day. When you're building bone, if you have osteopenia or osteoporosis, it does take a long time, okay? And you have to eat healthy as well. So it could take one to six years to build back your bone, but it's totally possible if you give your body the raw material. So one problem with absorbing these minerals is making sure your stomach is acidic, because if your stomach is not acidic, you're not gonna absorb these minerals no matter what. So apple cider vinegar with, with each meal is important. Um, and the, the way that you know you have an alkaline stomach is if you have heartburn or acid reflux or GERD, then we know you don't have enough acid, okay? If that's new to you, uh, watch the link down below. I'll, I'll put some information on that. So this is a very important trace mineral uh, for people with osteopenia and osteoporosis. Thanks for watching. So I hope you're coming to the Keto Health Summit coming up in October. So I wanna quickly comment on what we're gonna do that's different from other conventions, okay? The problem with these other conventions is they give you information overload, okay? It's so much data that you're basically swimming in a sea of information. Uh, we're gonna do things very differently. We're only gonna cover the most important things that make a huge difference. Now, there are three very powerful strategies that we're gonna be talking about at the summit that you will not find in any of my YouTube videos. Number one is on memory. I'm gonna be showing you something very cool to dramatically increase your memory in concentration that's gonna blow you away. And number two, I'm gonna show you how to increase your stress tolerance so you are completely calm all the time, all right? And number three, and most importantly, if you have a slow metabolism, if you've dieted for a long time and everything is kinda of just really slow, I'm gonna show you how to get complete control over your metabolism so you can literally turn up the dial as high as you want and control as much weight as you want to lose. And these three things are just a tiny bit of what you're gonna learn in the summit. So click the link below, get signed up, and I will see you in October.